All right, guys, we're going to get the reading going today. I do want to have a few announcements before we get started. Today, guys, this video is sponsored by Keen. Um, if you guys want to get a personalized reading made for you, you can use the link in the description or comments and get your first 10-minute min reading for only $1.99 from a psychic advisor on their platform. So if you guys want to take that opportunity, check out the link in the description in the comments. Don't forget, you can still be a VIP member, get perks, things like that. Link is in the description. I am still giving away two free readings at 15,000 subscribers. And I just want to say thank you guys for blessing me. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm also going to change a few things up on the channel. So readings might not come out as scheduled as they usually do. I'm going to try to do different readings, things of that sort. I'm also going to be making new cards. I'm fixing to start trying to get my homemade cards. Um, what would be the word? Made for you guys to purchase. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> but Pisces, today for your reading, I'm doing why are you and your person separated? Why is this connection not together? I just want some details. I want to know what happened. I, I, I want to know the future. I want to know the past. So right now we're getting really the past of the connection. What I've been picking up in your pre-shuffle is there was a lot of drama conflict. Um, I get a lot of like bickering. I do get a little bit of energy for some of you. There could have been other people involved. For some of you, it could be something as simple as a third party. For others, I also get the, the feeling that it was friends, family, money. There was other things that were a factor that made this not be able to move forward. And it's part of the reason why you guys ain't together. Because I feel like someone in this connection really let their past hold them back from investing how they should have. Um, and that's based off the pre-shuffle. Don't let your past hold you back. That's what come out in the pre-shuffle. So what do we have? Why is Pisces and this person not together? So I have deception. So someone not being 100% honest, entirely open not showing what they truly want but we already have i'm sorry popping out first first card <clears throat> so this person has some sort of regret pisces and the energy underneath is they want to see you so interesting right off the bat we have the energy of they let their past hold them back they let other people or someone here in this connection let other people influence it let other people really bring in tr drama, conflict. I feel like all of that also made you both very inner conflicted. Like, what, what is even going on? I feel like it was a very chaotic situation. And now I feel like this person's wanting to come in and apologize. I do feel like for some of you, this person's going to want to see you in person to tell you. That's going to be for some of you. I'm picking up on that. But I do see under the bottom that somebody could have had more options than what they told you or what they wanted you to believe. Someone could have acted like they were not dating, not going out on dating sites, entertaining other people. Pisces, I feel like intuitively you kind of knew some, something's not up. Although there was a very strong connection here. Very strong connection. Let's get a few tarot. Which one are we going to use? Let's use this one. What do we have? Why is Pisces and this person not, why are they not together, universe? There's a strong connection here and they want to apologize, but why? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <clears throat> it's interesting. I just seen the chariot as I was shuffling and it was looking at the Ten of Cups. I just heard they're finally to, they're finally ready to let things go. This person's ready to move, move forward. For some of you, I do pick up this person could have recently moved, but it's an energy of, okay, look what's on the bottom. Ten of Cups. That's literally what I was saying. I feel like this person is wanting to move towards you, Pisces. I feel like they're wanting to come to you. Yeah, look, with the Ace of Wands, with the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, wow, Ten of Pentacles. No, Ten of Cups. Okay. This person's wanting to move forward. They're wanting to offer you a new passionate beginning as well as something emotional, something stable. Yeah. I feel like 
some of you guys have been very patient for this person to finally come in and give you some sort of stability and balance things out. For some of you, I did see the devil as well Was when I was shuffling. So I feel like there could have been something. <sighs> there was something in this connection that was toxic. It wasn't working. Something needed to crumble. And again, I do feel like for a lot of you, it was this person didn't want to let something go. I feel like it was their past. <clears throat> yeah, and my throat started going out. There was truths that they needed to speak, and they weren't willing to speak them at the time. They weren't willing to let things go from the past for this to be able to evolve. But now there's an energy here of, okay, I'm sorry. I want to move things forward. I want to bring in a new passionate energy. I feel like they're wanting to bring a very fun energy in as well. As well as an emotional fulfilled energy. I do feel like this person sees you as someone who fulfills them. And they are wanting to balance things out. But again, I feel like there's been some sort of patience that's been needed in this connection. And I feel like the patience is because of some sort of stability. Now, again, for some of you, they could have not wanted to let go of a baby mama, a baby daddy, an ex-girlfriend, an ex-boyfriend, a husband, a wife. Someone didn't want to let go of something. For some of you, it could be something as simple as like a codependent energy of especially with that devil popping up just a minute ago, of I can run back to this person. I can run back, throw myself in this home, act like we're husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, and it works for a week, and then things crumble again. There was a need for balance. But I feel like it took a lot of patience, and it took a lot of time to get here. So why do they want to see Pisces? I want to get the energy for that card. Why do they want to see Pisces? They want to see Pisces because they want to bring you in an offer. I just heard they feel like it's time. They feel like it's time for them to finally come in. Yeah, and bring you in the Knight of Cups, an emotional offer, an offer of love. Page of Swords on the bottom. This person's watching you, trying to keep tabs on you. I also feel like this person, when they come in, I feel like they're going to bring you a lot of truths with this Page of Swords. For them, I feel like they're hard truths because a lot of them is epiphanies. It's realizing things. It's hard lessons. I've learned things. Especially, I get a little bit of regret as well with this Page of Swords. But you're going to get a lot of truth when they come in with this offer. But they're wanting to offer you something. I do get a little bit of energy. Yeah, they just come up as the King of Cups. I do get a little bit of energy, though, that they are a little fearful when it comes to offering you something. For some of you, I feel like it's fearful that you might not accept the offer. Because there is a lot of emotion behind it. This person has a lot of emotion for you, for this connection. But again, the reason that they were, I'm getting, I'm seeing Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so I just had the Seven of Swords come up. So the reason that they were sneaky, the reason that they were very, I, I just heard aloof. So for some of you, you could feel like they were aloof. But I get the energy of they act like they don't really know nothing. They don't tell you much. They just kind of keep to their self. Very mysterious in some sense, form, or fashion. And you didn't understand why. I feel like they were very guarded because they weren't willing to fully close chapters and be done. There was still some sort of sneaky behavior, sneaky tactic behind the scenes. That's where that deception comes up from the beginning of the reading. They did have some sort of deceptive energy. Now, Pisces, this can mean so many different things, so please take it how it resonates. But for me, deceptive energy can mean something as simple as, okay, I don't really want nothing too, too crazy, but I'm okay with bringing in like a passionate energy, having fun with Pisces, really getting to know them, but I'm not going to do much more. And the next thing you know, they won't let the past go. I just seen... Uh, I feel like this person physically hurts their self by holding on to this person. In my third eye, I just seen someone holding on to a bunch of knives. And if you are usually on this channel, welcome if you're new. But if you're not new, you know that I don't usually get descriptions like this in my third head. It's very triggering. So, trigger warning, please. But in my third eye, I just seen someone, there was like five knobs on each side and this person had their hand wrapped around the knobs with the blade pointing at their skin 
holding on as tight as they can, knowing it's hurting them, knowing that they're cutting themselves deeper, knowing that they're bleeding and it hurts and they're crying, but they just keep holding tighter. It's like that's what this person did when it come to their past, not wanting to let it go. Hell or high water, I'm not letting it go. Well, here we are. Now I feel like they've let it go. I feel like your person not letting things go in this connection, staying together. Again, I feel like for some of you, it was a little bit of chaos. I feel like it blocked both of your blessings. And if you look back at it right now, for these that this resonates for, this particular message, you're going to be able to see that that time in your life when you were with this person, you weren't really thriving, whether it be financially, mentally. It, you can look at yourself in pictures. It's like something was missing. And it's because blessings, that abundant energy, I feel like you guys were really down in your energy, your luck. Something was missing. And it's because this person, their energy was so low. You were beaming so low for this person just to even acknowledge them, be on the same wavelength, be able to be with them while they were continuously hurting their self. Pisces, and I feel like you were that really nurturing energy trying to hold them, love them. For some of you, this is going to be energetically. It's like you didn't really touch this person. You were friends. Take it how it resonates. But there was just this wall you couldn't get past. And you didn't know why. It was like, why Why are you acting like that? One minute you're open, the next minute you're not. What? What's holding back? Well, the holding back factor is that this person couldn't let go. And the more that they couldn't let go, the more that they were hurting their self. And there was that deceptive energy because they knew that they weren't going to let go. They knew that they weren't ready to be done. But they didn't want to let you go either. They loved having that fun, that passion energy. I feel like you brought this spark, this flame, this fun. You brought something back to this person that they felt like that past person took. And it's hard to let go of that when you get it. So now here we are. I feel like you guys have separated for sure because this is a... Why are they not together? But now it's an energy of this person. I feel like they've let it go. I feel like they are getting close to reaching some sort of goal that they've set for themselves. I do feel like for a lot of you, it's a financial goal. I don't know if this person was struggling financially as well. Um, but there's something that they're close to reaching. And it's because they're, I feel like they're done letting their past hold them back. And with that energy comes them having a lot of regret feeling sad for what they did, wanting to see you, knowing that there was a strong connection. With that Ten of Cups, knowing that you brought some sort of emotional fulfillment and contentment to this person. To me, the Ten of Cups is someone looking at you and being like, wow, this person sees me in a different light. They bring some sort of fulfillment to me. I really like who I am around this person. I like how I feel around this person. I like how they make me feel. I feel like the person really loved how you carried yourself as well. But there was a balance that needed to happen in both of your environments. And I feel like here we are. So now I want what's going on. So we know why they want to see you. They want to bring in an offer. Awesome. Is this offer here to stay? Okay, wait. Yeah. What's going on in the future of this connection? I want a new deck. So I want all the things. Okay, so it's interesting. I have the King of Cups right here, which this person's been showing up as cups. So they're fully indulged in their emotions for you. There's no way of hiding from their self how they feel for you, Pis Pisces. And this person's emotionally open, available, and ready to nurture something. They are ready to give something. I just heard someone say, finally. So when this person comes in for some of you, you're going to be like, God bless America. Do you know how long I've been waiting for you? It's been forever. About damn time. But there is an energy here where someone walked away. Someone wanted more. Someone wanted things to change. Someone wanted things to evolve. And it didn't. And one of you got tired. One of you got tired. And one of you decided to, to let it go. I do see that the person you're dealing with is very burdened. They're very overwhelmed. I feel like this person's very overwhelmed with the connection between you two. 
because I'm, I'm getting the two of cups. And with this person showing up as the king of swords with the two of cups, it's telling me that this person's thought a lot about this connection. They've thought a lot about how, what they want to tell you, the truths that they want to speak, how burdened they've been. Also, get for some of you Pisces, this connection burdens you as well. It's a, it's a connection where it's like when you least expect it, it pops in your brain. So you can be having like a great day. You've just not thought about them in a day or two. You're really living your best life. I mean, it's just an energy where you're focusing on something. You're focusing on work. And I get that something can happen and you're like, oh, man, I really didn't want to think about them today. And then you have memories start getting triggered. I have Polaroids popping up in my third eye left and right. So that's kind of what I get. It's just, it's just like all these memories start flooding back. Things that you're trying to let go of. Because I don't feel like for some of you Pisces, you see this evolving. It's like, okay, I'm going to focus on money. I'm going to focus on my stability. I'm going to be very practical. I'm going to try to remain grounded. I don't want to be too logical. I don't want to be too emotional. I just really, I want to try to stay secure within myself at this point. And I feel like that energy is also burdened your person, but your person's very overwhelmed. This connection's overwhelmed them. This emotion, this energy... So, King of Cups, what are they wanting to come in and offer Pisces? What are they wanting to come in and offer Pisces? So, they're showing up as three kings. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Not necessarily. At one point, someone here wanted commitment. And someone didn't get that. Someone here wanted more. And I feel like someone walked away. Well, now this person... Okay, I just heard they leveled up. So, for some of you, again, where this story resonates, I feel like when you guys first met or were together, you could feel the energy. It was very low. You felt tired. There was a lot of toxicity, a lot of chaos. It was just like things couldn't work. And you didn't understand why, but you knew... Love ain't this hard. That's really what I get. You were like, you know what? I'm not, it, it ain't supposed to be this hard. But now this person's coming in and they've leveled up on more, more, oh, I'm speechless. It's like I can't even get my words. They've leveled up in more ways than one. This person's leveled up in their money. I feel like emotionally they've worked on their heart chakra and I feel like they've opened it. Also feel like again, the emotions that they have for you, the overwhelming connection that they feel when it comes to you too, burdens them. So for some of you, if it doesn't resonate that this person's popping up left and right with their name on the TV, their favorite song on the radio, I mean, it's like, y'all, I'm getting a little bit of obsessive energy. You're seeing their name on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, the phone. I mean, it's just boom, 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 boom. Your kid comes home talking about a kid with the same name. And it's like, what the heck? I can't get away from this. That's the energy I get. That's how your person feels. If this isn't you, Pisces, you both could... Sorry, I think I got the hiccups. <laughs> you both could actually feel this way. To be honest, you both could be feeling that way. You both could be feeling that energy. You could be picking up on that energy. So what are they wanting to come in and offer Pisces? They're wanting to move things forward. Again, strong energy and moving things forward with you. I'm getting strong energy as well that they're wanting, yeah, death, new beginnings. They're wanting things to evolve. <sighs> Temperance on the bottom and justice and nine of cups and eight of wands. Wow, that's what I was getting. This person's wanting to bring in balance. They're... They know that you've been patient with them. They know that you've waited for them to turn into the person and to let go of the things that they needed to let go of. And they're willing to come in and balance this out. They're willing to transform this situation. I feel like for some of you, they've even transformed their self. Like I said, it's like they really leveled up. They really have mastered their mind, their spirit, their money, their emotions, I feel like they've let a lot go and they've evolved. They're ready to bring justice in. Nine of Cups, they're wanting to ask you out. They could want to ask you out for drinks, something of that sort. Now, with Two Chariots and the Eight of Wands, this person could be traveling to you. I just heard 
in my um, ear pop-up visit. So for some of you, you could be getting a pop-up visit from this person, but this person's going to want to come in and communicate with you. Hey, I want us to go out. I need to tell you what's, what's happened. I'm sorry that I didn't give you what you needed. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of stubborn energy. Yeah, two of pentacles that I was stubborn and couldn't make a choice. I kept going back and forth. I wasn't willing to let go of one chapter to go into another. I wasn't willing to let go of something that I swore I needed and I was so gung-ho about it. I wasn't willing to see what I had, but here I am. I'm coming in. I'm offering you something. I'm willing to be emotionally open. I'm willing to be passionate and fun the energy that you brought to me when I needed it, but I'm also that stable energy. I can also be the provider that I know that you need, or I can help you with the bills, and I know you deserve that kind of person. I don't want to be a codependent person for you, Pisces, and that's one of the things I needed to grow. Again, I feel like this person's been working on their stability, noticing a lot of things about their self, and why they really couldn't let that past go. Also, said with the Eight of Pentacles, this person could be working a lot. Yeah, so we have incoming quickly. I also have, I want to reach out. So, confirmation again that this person will be wanting to come see you, reach out. Nine of Cups is like going out on a date, going out for drinks, having a good time, enjoying each other's company. Okay, y'all. I was thinking this, but I wasn't going to say it, but Spirit really wants me to say it. I want to make love to you. For some of you, when this person comes in and you guys go have fun and you have drinks, you guys could end up sleeping together. So just fair warning. Just go ahead and prepare for that, okay? If you feel like this is your your note, just go ahead and prepare for that. Because there isn't a mutual attraction here. And I feel like someone isn't wanting options anymore. They're wanting you. There is no more holding on to anything. This person's gotten truth. This person's gotten clarity. They know what they're wanting. They know the kind of connection this is. It's a two of cups. It's a soulmate, twin flame, strong connection, past life connection. Someone that you feel so familiar with, like they know you. It's just a very nurturing, calm, warm energy. That's really what I get. I'm getting a very warm energy. Like when you lay on the couch on a cold day and it's been raining and you can just snuggle up with some hot chocolate and watch a movie. That's the energy I get. Tons of options in the reverse. This person doesn't want any options. Let's get their feelings. What is Pisces person feeling for them? We know they're not together, but what are they feeling for them? What are they feeling? What are they feeling? I wish I had treated you better. So many things remind me of you. That's that energy I was picking up. Y'all, it's literally like I'm seeing names and things all in my third eye. And it's just like boom, 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 boom. It's just like, holy cow, why do I keep seeing their name? Why do I keep seeing their last name? Why does that person keep saying that? Why do I have to keep driving by their house on this road? There's something here where it's like, but this person doesn't react when people mention you. Interesting. I'm seeing if I can pick anything up on that. Why don't they react? Because they're sad. When someone just mentioned your name, I just seen them in my head, put their head down, turn around and walk away. It's an energy of like, damn. Again, that's that energy of Pisces, 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 Pisces. And it's just a constant reminder. And that's that burden. And they're, they're going to get to a point, Pisces, where they're not going to be able to carry that anymore. Their shoulders are getting heavy. Feeling that they need to tell you something. Knowing that you have such a strong connection with each other. Knowing that they've worked so hard to get where they're at and to let those things go. It's going to get heavy. And they're not going to be able to hold back much longer. Anything else for this person? Anything else for this person? I wonder if you are happy without me. 
Pisces, I see, I feel like you run through this person's mind a lot. What do we have? Pisces person. Pisces person. Pisces person. For some of you, again, I do get the energy that this person pretended. Yeah, and look what just come out. This person pretended that they didn't care. They really did. I picked that up in the beginning with that seven of wands, and look what come out. In that moment, I didn't care. Because, again, they were so gun-ho on holding to the past when the past wasn't doing nothing for them that they not only hurt themselves, but they hurt you. What, look what come out. I pretend you don't mean that much. That's literally what I was picking up. But someone is waiting for an apology. And Pisces, I feel like that's you. You're waiting for that sorry. I'm sorry. And that's interesting because that's the first thing that come out. It's like you need to hear that. You need to hear that everything this person put you through, then making you feel like you weren't enough, that you weren't something that they wanted, that your energy didn't make a difference to them, that you didn't make them that happy. That's the energy I get. Like, well, maybe I didn't make you that happy. Maybe all the times we laughed and we joked and we played and we, I really thought we were having fun, which I feel like was a lot. I feel like there was a very lighthearted, loving energy. It was like, well, maybe that didn't mean nothing to you. Maybe you were just pretending. I'm about to cry. I feel like that's like a hard thing too. It's like, maybe I didn't mean that much to this person. Wow, okay. Yeah, look what's on the bottom as I pick this up. Healing family issues. This person has been trying to heal some sort of family issue. And I do feel like they are going to benefit and they are becoming a better person. Also, just seeing finances and career, which is also just confirmation to me that money was a factor. And I did say that earlier, that I felt like someone here was not stable in their money, their foundation. So, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And then stay optimistic. Someone here is definitely going to want to come in after a time of separation. This is on the bottom and make an effort. There's a need for you guys to keep an open mind when this person comes in. Because I do see that this is a very strong connection. I'm picking up that this could be a past life soulmate. So it's the energy of like, I don't know if I want to deal with them. But it's just like you feel pulled. You just don't understand it. Someone is definitely wanting to come in, though, and make the effort. There's a need for you to stay optimistic. I feel like some of you could definitely need to stay optimistic about where this could go, where it could evolve to. But communication will be key for this, for this to get where you want it to be. Like any connection. I feel like that's just a friendly reminder. Communication will be a big factor. Bring love into the situation. The end of a tough cycle will be approaching. Interesting. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. Not necessarily. What do we have for Pisces and this person? Why aren't they together? Why aren't they together? Know your worth. You know, somebody here could have demanded their worth. I get that here. Someone here took inspired action. And I feel like someone could have also needed to work through their feelings and realize that what is meant to be will be. One card, please. We don't need 10. Practice gratitude. All right, Pisces. I'm going to leave this here. Try to have a blessed day, guys.